For the California mountain lion, when it comes to love, romance can be fleeting. They have the same needs as any other animal, and to reproduce, they can't do it alone. Continuing the species can be a challenge with many obstacles. However, it's an essential part of the circle of life. When the female is ready to mate, she has her own special siren song to lure in potential suitors. When she wants to attract a male, when she comes into heat, uh, then she vocalizes. And their vocalizing can be quite loud sometimes. Many people uh, have equated the vocalizing of a female mountain lion in heat to a, a woman screaming. Sometimes you have to be loud to get attention. Looks like someone's heard her call. It's time to get down to business. When they go through the breeding process, they usually are together up to a week, and they breed multiple times during that period. When the female then breeds and has the kittens, they're with her for a year and a half, approximately on average. And so that means that the, the breeding opportunities for the male and the female only occur every couple of years. She goes through a pregnancy period of 90 days and then has between two and four kittens on average. When the kittens are born, mom will nurse them for about 12 weeks, but to keep her energy high, she occasionally has to leave them and search for food. Looks like these curious kittens are hungry. After they're weaned, mom will either bring small prey to her young or will lead them to a kill site. She will repeat this process until the babies are old enough to accompany her on a hunt. They will learn all of their survival skills from mom and pass those skills down to kittens of their own. Well, the mother and the kittens have a very close relationship because the female takes care of those kittens for essentially a year and a half, which is a long time for offspring to be dependent on or, or circulate with a mother uh, among animals, among wild animals. Um, so the mothers are, are very good mothers. Father, however, rarely plays a part in the kitten's upbringing. Except when they mate, they stay apart from each other, and actually a female will do everything she can to avoid a male. Intraspecific conflict is a big deal in lions. Male lions will kill other male lions and male lions will even kill female lions. So females basically avoid a male unless she wants to mate with him. In a few rare instances, father will join mother and kittens for a family meal. Unfortunately, adult males are far from being the only threat to young kittens. On average, fewer than half of all kittens survive to adulthood. Well, as real young kittens, they're susceptible to predation from a number of other animals. Environmental threats include hypothermia from sudden snowstorms. They can be threatened by fire. Wildfire, of course, is a threat throughout California, and they may not be able to move away from it. This period of susceptibility is quite a long time for a mother to protect her kittens, but she stays determined. However, mom will only give her kittens a free ride for so long before they must learn to fend for themselves. They are completely dependent on her for that first year and a half of life, and then they get booted out, more or less. She's gonna have another litter, and it's time for them to go establish their own territory. And they don't have GPS, they don't have maps, and this is when they end up in places where they shouldn't. They don't have a clock or a compass to tell them when or where to go. They just go in random directions. Setting out on their own is a big life adjustment for the young lions, one which males and females handle differently. For both, their first priority is finding a new and sustaining territory. Males have a larger territory typically than females. They tend to have territories that butt up against each other 
but they mark their territories with urine or feces. Females, on the other hand, set up their territories closer to their mothers. This can negatively affect the diversity of the local gene pool. The females, because they can come into heat sooner, they may even breed back to their father in some cases, especially in cases where uh, the territories are limited by geography. In our study area and others in California, oftentimes the populations are uh, squeezed by development and roads. The males end up overlapping a lot with their offspring because the offspring cannot go very far to set up their own territory, the female offspring. For some California mountain lions, it's difficult to find territory where potential mates are not close relatives. If they can't find a mate outside of the family, they'll settle for one within. When they have the reproductive issues, it's called inbreeding depression. And if that sets in, our models uh, of population trajectory tend to suggest that population has a high risk of extinction. With lions facing multiple threats, it's more important than ever to keep habitats connected and accessible in spite of urban development. Mountain lions, like humans, need to reproduce and ensure living heirs for the future. In the words of one famous lion, we are all connected in the great circle of life. <laughs>